All right, my recording failed again. All right, so part three. So when we, when we open uh, in read mode, are there other modes we can uh, go in? So so here are the different modes right here. Uh, I, and if, again, if you haven't learned this, don't worry about it. Um, I just, I, I thought, uh, I think they taught us this when I was there. So if you just do R, then that's going to be opening it for reading, and we put uh, the stream at the beginning of the file. And if we want to read and write, um, that means we put it at the beginning of the file, and we can read it, and we can write it. So if we just do it in R, and we try to do like uh, uh, Y dot write um, high in, in R mode, uh, it's not going to let you because uh, you're, you're not, it's not uh, writable, you're not in uh, uh, writing mode. But if I put R plus, then it's going to write high where the stream is. Um, so I did that. Um, actually, I didn't, oh, there it goes. Uh, so yeah. Usually you have to uh, do a y dot close for it to work, but um, or to like save the work sort of. Um, so yeah, oh there it is again. So cool. Um, and so what writing does, uh, if you open it in write mode, you have to be careful because it deletes everything in the file and then it puts it at the beginning. And uh, w plus, um, uh, I think this, um, yeah, it also uh, deletes everything in the file. And the cool thing about write mode, I believe. Um, is if you have um, a file that doesn't exist and you open it in reading mode, I think it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, but if you open it in uh, writing mode, say, then it will make it for you and then and do it. Um, and this is not readable, so if I want to make it readable, I can do W plus, right? And then uh, that makes it readable. There we go. I know there's nothing in there, so I didn't print it. Um, and then A is going to be, okay, so A is um, it's open for writing. Um, but it doesn't uh, delete everything, and it puts the stream at the end. Okay, yeah, so uh, the difference between A and um, W, uh, well, W deletes everything, A does not. A, a is called append mode, so it's going to go to the end of the file, and you can start just writing stuff on there. Um, and then A plus is uh, if you want to go to the end of the file first, not delete anything, and read and write. So there you go. So there's all that. Um, so the last thing we have looks like is uh, URL lib uh, dot request. Um, so this is a fun thing. So uh, what I usually like to play with this on is, uh, so our goal for this is going to be to get a duck on our screen, okay? So I'm gonna go to ducksarethebest.com. I'm gonna mute this tab so the music doesn't start playing. So this is, of course, the greatest website in the world. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the, the source code from here. Cause uh, look, there's a giant duck in the source code, which is just wonderful. So we're gonna get this on our screen, so. So in order to work with uh, URL lib stuff, we're going to need this this line right here. So import URL lib dot request. And uh, the reason it's not is this a dot thing. I remember I asked last uh, semester. It's like a it's like a so sub library uh, some weird thing. Don't worry about it. Just remember to just put that chunk in there. Import URL lib dot request. Um, and then so this is basically uh, remember we did like uh, random dot rand range. Um, this is basically saying uh, like this package dot url bin don't, don't get confused because there's another extra dot there it's just like an extra thing in there so uh so dot url open url so uh yeah so when we open a url we're going to put in a string that's going to be the url there and then we're going to read dot decode all this stuff okay so so the first step to getting our duck on the screen so we gotta get this url right so uh we're gonna go back i'm usually set this equal to z for some reason but uh so you says http dot dot slash slash there you go, or colon. Everyone says colon. Wait, it was already there. Here we go. Then we have Z in there, and we can do, let's see, so then we're going to do URL lib dot request. And so URL lib dot request dot URL open Z. Good. Um, and then usually you want to set this equal to something, it's so like A equals that. Um, so make sure we don't get any errors. And we're good. Okay. And so then the next thing we do uh, is then we're going to. So this this is called a. This is like a stream. Uh, or A. Sorry. A is like a uh, stream. Is, uh, then we're going to do stream not read. And uh, I just think of a stream as like a, a URL thingy. And uh, so if we print A, um, we're not going to get our, our nice duck on the screen. We're just going to get um, this. It's going to say we have an HTTP thingy at this memory location. So it's actually an object. So you're going to learn about objects next semester. But yeah. And uh, we can actually do. Um, type. Let's see if I want to see the type of A. See if it's a string or something. The class HTTP HTTP thingy. So there we go. Um, so now what we can do, if we want to get the stuff inside, is we can do a dot read. 
There you go. Aid that reef. And oh wow, this is a, a there's a duck in there somewhere, but it's like all jumbled up, right? Cool. We have all these tabs and new lines and all this stuff. I think there's usually a B at the beginning on its uh, all this HTML code. So in order to get a, a nice string format, if you want basically to evaluate those new lines and put them where they should be, um, what we do is we do this de decode. So dot decode. Then let's do UTF dash eight. And yep. So now, drum roll, we have the duck on the screen. Yes, sorry, that is our, our whole goal of, of everything in computer science is to get the duck on the screen. Okay, so uh, there we go. This is this is a lot to remember, right? So uh, how do we how do we remember all this? So what I suggest is uh, what I did last. Oh, my desk just fell over. Well, okay. So what I suggest is um, I remember I tried to remember how it would look if I put it all in one line. So dot read and then dot decode um, dot decode and then um, uh, utf. Uh, sorry, it gets a string. So I'm gonna, there we go. Um, I think there needs to be a parentheses. Um, yeah, hold on one sec. So the way I did it is I, I just say, uh, I thought if I put it all in one thing, so print URL lib dot request dot URL open your Z dot read dot decode ETF8, and that will get the duck on the screen. So there we go. So what I suggest is uh, writing this out. So it's, it's write out ten times a piece of paper, and then you should be good. Um, and then, then of course, you know, you, you know how to like break it up. So if we uh, if we broke it up like this, and then um, did like uh, said to say a equals there, and then um, Z uh, print print uh, print not prompt print a dot read uh, be the same thing. I believe. There we go. So that should be everything. Um, if there is something that I missed or something that you do not, still do not understand, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, for tonight, I'm done. So cool. Uh, good luck on the test.